And in the special meeting this morning, the Kern County Board of Supervisors unanimously approved a plan for the construction of a low barrier homeless shelter located in central Bakersfield. Today we got a firsthand look at some of the models the new shelter will be based off and issues like security at the facility were a hot topic today. Tuesday, the Board of Supervisors declaring a homeless shelter crisis at a special meeting. Despite the big move, one of the most discussed issues was security. Supervisor Mick Gleason addressing concerns over the guidelines of the low barrier shelter. The temporary housing includes case management services and helps homeless residents find employment and transition into permanent housing. But it also allows those same residents to stay while under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Something Supervisor Gleason said concerned him with potential safety and security issues. And I just don't understand how we can do that balance. Do you? Yes. Can you explain it to me? We're going to have two full-time security staff at this facility 24-7 uh, every single day of the week, all day, all night long. Are they going to be carrying weapons? Are they going to have the ability to arrest somebody? Are they going to be, have the ability no, to... No, there will be no police uh, used at this site, um, and I think there's probably good reason for that. And do you uh, think that's sufficient to provide security for this place? Yes. In the meeting, the county administrative office showed images of other low barrier shelters they hope to model in the new project, including the design for beds. Residents will also be able to bring their pets, which will be provided services such as food, vaccines and microchipping. They'll also have a place to store their belongings. And despite concerns for security, Chief County Administrative Officer Ryan Alsup says the intake process will help mitigate any issues. When we when they go through the intake, there'll be an evaluation and maybe that person is transported to a hospital uh, or that person is transported to a substance abuse center. And while Alsup says the processes are in place to alleviate and control any security issues, Sheriff Donnie Youngblood warns that with people under the influence, bad things will happen. Never lose sight of the fact that we're, that we're dealing with a large percentage of these people that have drug issues, are under the influence, they're not thinking with a clear mind, they have mental health issues, and if we think that nothing bad is going to happen, we're going to be shocked. And Although many speakers share their concerns, there were many supporters and suggestions that were shared in support of the project. The board approved the plan. They also filed a motion to reach out to the sheriff's office and BPD to discuss how they can handle these security issues. But live in studio, I'm Alex Bell for 23BC News, connecting you.